The volume range of Eppendorf pipettes is printed on the pipette and represented by a color code. You should always choose a pipette with a nominal volume that is as close as possible to the volume you want to pipette, no matter if you are using the standard forward pipetting technique or reverse pipetting. Set the exact volume you want to pipette by turning the volume control button. In Research 3 pipettes, the innovative volume gear shift slider allows you to either fine-tune the volume with low resistance or speed up volume changes with fewer rotations but a bit more effort. Lock the volume by moving the slider to the locked symbol. Attach a suitable pipette tip. The color code on Eppendorf tip trays helps you to easily identify matching tips for your pipette. Push the pipette onto the tip. Avoid hammering the tip in or rocking the pipette. The tip is securely attached when its upper end touches the ejector sleeve. Forward pipetting is the standard technique used for most samples. Push the control button down to the first stop, hold the pipette vertically, and immerse the tip slightly into the liquid. Release the control button slowly. Push the control button to the first stop again to dispense the liquid back into the source vessel and pre-wet the inside of the pipette tip. Perform at least three pre-wetting steps to maximize precision when using a new pipette tip. Touch the inner wall of your target vessel with the tip at an angle between 20 and 45 degrees. After you've pushed the control button down to the first stop, blow out the tip by pushing further down to the second stop. When using the reverse pipetting technique, the pipette aspirates the selected volume plus an additional excess volume that remains in the tip. Reverse pipetting is recommended to increase precision for non-aqueous liquids. Push the control button all the way down to the second stop. Immerse the pipette tip vertically in the liquid sample and perform at least three pre-wetting steps. Make sure to release the control button all the way up before you pull the tip out of the liquid. Dispense the liquid into your target vessel by pushing the control button to the first stop. Don't blow out the tip, but pull it out with the excess volume still in the tip. When using reverse pipetting, you might want to blow out the residual liquid in the tip into a separate liquid waste container before ejecting. 